Welcome to the project intro video. In this video, we're going to look over the final product of this tutorial. I'll list out the goals and milestones we'll hit, and I'll talk about things we aren't going to be covering in these videos. There isn't actually any modeling in this video, so if you'd like to skip ahead, go ahead. In these videos, we will be modeling the enclosure to this two-way radio. I designed this product for this tutorial and it's not fully resolved, so it's lacking in all the guts needed to make it an actual product. That would be a much longer and more advanced video, maybe something for later. Within this series, we're going to learn about blocking out shapes in order to make the body of the radio. We're going to cut the through holes needed to accommodate the buttons and other features. And we're going to go through the process of thickening or shelling to all of you solid workers out there. And we'll learn how to add supporting geometry to support a smooth, subdivided model free of smoothing artifacts. Towards the end, we'll be getting into finer details and I'll finish up by teaching you how to wrap up your files for 3D printing or to export to other programs. Moto can fit in multiple places within a pipeline. These videos use Moto as a start to finish modeling tool, but you might only be interested in using Moto for part of your pipeline. It can make quick work of cleaning up 3D scan data. It's an excellent tool for quick shape ideation and its powerful render engine can be used with imported CAD data for high quality renders and in situ shots. Finally, I just want to mention final goals and motivations when using Modo. What you are modeling for will define the way you model and how you approach each project. Will you be modeling for 3D printing? Well, you're going to want to go for an airtight build. Are you going to be exporting to SOLIDWORKS? Well, you should divide your tasks up and decide what you plan to do in each program. In addition, you're going to need a few plugins from the Foundry to help you move back and forth between Modo and SOLIDWORKS or other parametric software packages. Just a few things to think about. I will see you in the next video.